users, Alex here, VR Guide, and tonight I want to show you how we can use VRA preset in order to speed up our working progress for exterior renders. This is actually um, a request from uh, one of our students, which uh, I'm about to show you how to create and use presets for exteriors so as you can see here I opened completely new scene I want to show you how to do it from scratch and uh, I'm gonna import that uh, duplex start so basically just the building front and ground let's click OK and uh, as you can see it comes with the with the camera it's called front so nothing much to that camera um, except that the shutter speed was lowered down to uh, 30 and uh, I think the rest is just by the default okay so now with this if we go to our uh, cosmos let's click yes activate our v-ray and let's get one one of HDRIs let's get this one now I'm going to open my material editor and when I'm selecting this dome I can drag and drop with instance and we get this HDRI right here uh, to manipulate so let's lower the intensity uh, the multiplier 0 0.2 and 0.2 you already can see uh, we're getting some colors here so I think this is more or less like a default that goes uh, let me click render here so you can see already start getting nice results right away all right so I'm gonna stop it and I'm gonna go and load my preset so my preset uh, before I load it I just wanna show you a couple of things so when you render at the beginning it's set up to progressive so um, for final or for rendering purposes not for testing purposes but for actual rendering previews we want to use bucket and 124 so that's going to go down and by default also the uh, color mapping set to reinhardt if we switch it to exponential we're going to get a little bit better colors less uh, exposed I um, mean hues and saturation is just a little bit too much but you can see the overexposed areas that were here uh, kind of were corrected because the exponential it takes out all of those burned out areas now if I load my preset by the way if you create a nice cool looking scene with a good lighting you can click and save that preset so what I did I actually saved my preset from duplex call it duplex here so if I double click and load it I'm gonna load the whole thing and as you can see here it's uh, uh, changed from 124 to 118 and the color mapping also exponential so that's the biggest difference I guess and here we have a radiance map everything kind of optimized okay so if I click render you can see it's already switched to uh, bucket mode you can see the buckets running and we can see the presentation of entire space is looking much better it's much sharper um, basically it's a tweaked render everything we did in our exterior workshop is applied in that preset and you can see it's super fast to render it renders within a couple of minutes and we have a good uh, quality preset to work with something you know to start designing adjusting moving testing colors textures stuff like that not everything gonna work as planned okay now the next step if you really want to use my preset you have to load the lighting so I'm going to select that and delete because uh, I don't need this lighting that comes uh, from Chaos Cosmos oh and by the way notice that Chaos Cosmos those are the new HDRI textures they have 
kind of nice looking bottom here now if I bring my light I'm gonna click merge so you basically getting two files one preset and one duplex preset max file that contains V-Ray Dawn and V-Ray Sun so I'm gonna click and bring those in okay now if I click render you can see uh, immediately that the lighting changed according to the HDRI but we don't have HDRI in our background because uh, in my uh, class I'm actually teaching how to use a split method for HDRI so we're basically splitting the environment and the dome light but we're using the same parameters for rotation and all that um, basically the rotation just the position of that because with that method we can have two different exposure values one for the environment and one for the lighting okay so i'm going to drag and drop with instance my uh, dome i'm going to duplicate it and call this one env for environment now I'm going to go here into my environment. You already see there's an environment bitmap loaded, but this is for my previous preset. So what I need to do is just update it. Just drag and drop it there. Click OK. And voila, we have our image, our environment already showing in the background. Now what we need to do here, I just do one trick. Uh, in order to use our split HDRI method, I'm going to put my environment to 0.8 to have a little bit uh, a little bit more exposure, a bit more light to it, so it will not be too dark. Okay, now I'm going to select my camera. Let's do save frames. And I'm going to click render. And voila, as you can see here, we are getting our preview render level one with uh, clay and lines all right so pretty easy to use you can see it's a nice good quality preview rendered pretty fast and very easy to use with our preset now in the upcoming videos i'm going to show you how to use forest pack i'm going to update this exterior scene i know you guys want it me to get this new update and show all the new tips and tricks that we can use in order to get hyper realistic renders with V-Ray. Okay, so thanks a lot for watching. Download the preset below. This is Alex, your V-Ray guy.